You are live here in Brooklyn, and this is our American Rave. American Wave. This is my new product line. And the only reason I'm showing you is because we have a special intro promo. Special intro promo on American Wave. Ah, oh, Sunshine! <laughs> sunshine, where is it? Ah, like a vampire. <laughs> Sunshine. Ah! American Wave, the promo finishes on the uh, 1st of April, April Fool's Day. So if you want to get the special promo, 550 gets you the American Wave line in, and uh, it's worth $1,600 at retail. So it's a magic trick. You spend $550 and turn it into $1,600. American Wave is the rave of the future. Oh, I mean, sorry, the wave of the future. But now, welcome to Brooklyn Live. I'm Nick Arojo. This is Corinne. Corinne does hair. Is that right? Yeah. You do hair? Good. Let's go over to Anessa. Come on, we're going to do a cut. This is Brooklyn. It's my great salon here. We don't open till noon. So it's a late crowd in Brooklyn because everyone's got beards and dogs. And they, they stay out late. Okay, so Anessa's got this amazing... Long hair. Which way do you wear it? This way or this way? That way. That way. To the right. To the right. To the right. It's a new song by Beyonce. It's a remix. So let, what we're going to do with Anessa's hair is we're going to do like a razor lock. So let's turn this into a razor lesson. And uh, we're going to sit the hair just a little tighter here in the back. I'm going to drop the hair down to just around. There's the collarbone. So we'll drop it a little lower than the collarbone, about an inch, because once we kind of put a little light layer in, it's going to kind of bounce and move. She's got great hair. It was painted yesterday. Who painted your hair for you? Lauren. Lauren. So Lauren, who passed her test about two weeks ago, and if you want to see a presentation, it's on my Facebook, uh, on my page, on my Facebook page in videos. You can check out Lauren's test. So the first thing I do is when the client's been shampooed, today she was shampooed in Color Safe shampoo and conditioner. Karen, you did a wonderful shampoo, I can tell. And the, gen uh, the Color Safe shampoo and conditioner is one of our best-selling uh, shampoos and conditioners in the Erosio product line because it's just a stellar shampoo at a very attainable price. The conditioner is a, is a medium weight, more medium to light, not medium to heavy. It's got an amazing fragrance of linden blossom, and it just helps. It has a color-saving molecule, like a complex, that helps to retain color. Developed by a chemist uh, who really understands color. So uh, that's why we went with that specific chemist with that color-safe shampoo. Okay, so shampoo, then what happens is she comes back, sits in the chair, we get the hair still wet to the touch, um, but we towel dry the hair so that we squeeze the moisture out so there's no moisture dripping. I'm going to take my razor. I'm going to use my red razor. And if you're interested in getting the red razor, we sell it on erosiopro.com. And we have a special offer today. 15% discount. And um, March Madness. We're coming to the end of March Madness. And I am exhausted. I have been all over the place in the month of March. And we just got back from Chicago where we had a fantastic time. And uh, we had a trade show booth and we were demonstrating all day. And then we also had uh, a Rojo expose. So let me show you how we work this. Rotate the blade 270 degrees. V for victory. Place the blade inside the, the palms of the hand, right inside the two fingers. Wiggle your thumb. I like to say wiggle it just a little bit. In fact, wiggle your fingers so you get all your fingers moving. Then push, 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 push the blade. You push the shaft so that it sits. The little tang sits in the palm of your hand. And this is how we hold it. So now I'm holding it, if you look, it's a straight line. Straight line, holding it all the way down. Slight rotation on the wrist, okay? And then what we do is this is how we cut. Watch my thumb. 
It's just a bending motion. If I turn to the side, you'll notice there's no movement in the wrist. There's no movement in the elbow. It's pure and simply just in the fingertips. And as you rotate it, you'll see the thumb moves up and down. Now what happens is, we call this the lock and the load. So I've, I've locked the blade in with my pointer finger and now I'm gonna load in my comb. This is the razor comb. Seven dollars buys you the best comb on arojopro.com and with a 15% discount, we're giving them away. The discount only lasts until tomorrow night, Friday the 31st. It's Friday the 31st? It's today the 30th? She's Crazy. lucky. That I see frowning. I don't know if she's convinced, but I think she's convinced. So you notice how I hold it. Look at the small finger. Small finger, two fingers on the top, thumb underneath. The reason why we hold it like this is because I, like I like to rotate. You like to move it? I like to move it, move it. Move it! And then we rotate it back towards and away. Notice how I've locked this finger down. Now the reason why I do it like this, the reason why I do it like this is because if I use my pointer finger, this one to hold the actual comb, watch what happens to the blade. Now the blade becomes loose and it gets closer to the comb. So when I'm going in, look where the blade is. It's in danger, danger. Well, Robinson, danger. So when we lock it in, you'll notice now where the razor is, and we've got a lot of space. So that's how we hold the cut, that's how we hold the razor. We're going to do a little bit of closed razoring first, but before that, I'm going to prep the hair with our magical Hydro Mist. Hydro Mist is our spray conditioner. It's a lightweight spray conditioner. It really just helps to make the hair feel lovely. So dampen this in. This is we use this as a cutting lotion, but I sell it as a as a refreshing spray. So when you want to reset your hair, it's great for the client. It's like uh, in the 90s, actually in the 80s, I first saw Evian being sprayed on the face. It's like a light moisturizer for the face, a little bit of water. Uh, today I like to use this product to spray into the hair to add again just that little bit more moisture. So today's lesson is simple because the razor is going to do most of the work. When I say it's simple, what I mean, pull my tray in, my tray close. It's simple, but let's kind of get, really dial it in. It's all going to be about the blade. So we take classic barb sections. Now one of the things that you're going to have to really work on is working uber clean because when you work super clean what happens is you, your work looks great and, and you stay balanced I have sectioned the head down the center there's the spine straight down the center the hair has been sectioned and then we're going to use the fine teeth of the comb fine teeth of the comb to comb this hair nice and tall even tension and I'm going to cut the hair on the same line so my fingers are parallel to the section. I always keep the line parallel to the section. Basic, simple information that helps to make your work look great. Now I'm going to start at the back of the, or the heel of the blade. And I'm doing what we call closed razor cutting. So closed razor cutting means that you don't put too much texture into the hair. I don't know if you get a good shot of that, Corinne. Mm -hmm. So you can see how closed and close to the fingers the hair is. This is closed razor cutting. And if you dial in back to the line, you can see the line right here. So you can see the cleanliness of the line. Whatever you have in your fingers is a mirror image of what you've left on the back of the head. So that, we're always starting, so on this side we start from the inside and the blade doesn't move across because I'm underneath the occipital bone, I'm actually just pressing, I like to call this edge work, I'm pressing the edge of the blade in. 
When you press the edge of the blade in, what that means is it means you get a really clean line. For those naysayers that don't like the razor, the razor is just as sharp as a scissor. Now on this side, I'm gonna work on the inside out to the back of the ear also, but this side I use the tip or the top of the blade. It's a short piston-like motion. And we're doing exactly the same. Getting it really nice and close to the fingers. Gonna comb this hair lightly back. We comb this hair lightly back. And there we have our baseline. Dum, da dum, da dum, dum, dum. Baseline. We were at the baseline and we flew in Mr. Wallace in his, um, what would you call that? What was he wearing, Mr. Wallace? Our uh, performer. He was a wearing like sheer... A, a sheer cat suit with a thong underneath. And Mr. Wallace was giving us his unique wrapping style and a very uh, gender centric part of our expose in Chicago. And the place that we did the event at was called the baseline. Section two, nice and tight. Comb the hair all the way, look where the comb goes. Comb goes right at the top, all the way down. Nice, even tension with the fine teeth of the comb. I can feel the guide disappear underneath. And then I'm just pushing that blade in. Pressing the edge in. Still keeping it nice and clean, so you can see the cleanness in the line. Very, very important. Second, now as this section gets wider, you can't pull everything in, so you have to do it in two goes. Unless your fingers are seven inches long, and they may be, but you may want to be playing basketball. So just a little bit there. Notice how I'm doing a little A line, and it's matching the section. Take the next section out. Now these are the Erosio clips. I love these clips. They're nice, clean, strong, powerful, made by J. Ty. We brand them Erosio, and red is my color. Nick, we've got a great question from Ian. Amazing Graham. He is amazing, because he's amazingly here every week, Ian. We like to, to hear from you. Uh, he said, Nick, would there be a slight overhang with each section? No. You cut straight on top of the line. Never overhang, just the same with scissors. It, you, if you want to do kind of like an overhang, uh, you can, but you know, it's not gonna create thickness in the hair. So just the same way with scissor, as you cut with a scissor, is exactly how you cut with a, with a razor. So there's no overhang, keep it one length, no overhang. If anything, if you're cutting it on top of itself, you're actually going to cut each, there's going to be a little shortness, but that little bit of shortness is going to interlock. Yeah, because you're pressing down on the hair. But right now I'm using more the edge, edge, edge of the blade. Soon I'm going to start to rotate this blade and come down the hair. But for now, I'm going to stick with the edge. One more section with the edge. And uh, good to see you, Ian. Well, good to hear from you. Thanks for checking us out, as always. Fine teeth of the comb. The razor comb is very important. We call this the razor comb. Fine teeth for even tension, wide teeth for no tension, and a nice big empty tooth there to get a really nice clean section. So practice really taut cutting. I see the guide on the inside. So I see it right here. There's the guide, right here. So as I'm combing down the hair, see the guide right there. Now I know I'm gonna pass through it and I can feel it disappearing in my fingers. And that's where I put the blade in. And I can get nice and close into my fingers and still keep that nice closed kind of shape. I'm gonna over direct the hair lightly back it's going to get longer towards the front. The thing that makes this kind of a cut really good is a little bit more length around the front. 
Yeah, so a little bit of over direction. And, you know, push it as much as you can to make it look as great as it can look. So notice when I section, super clean section. That holds it out. Take, place, no need to twist. The Orojo clip holds Inessa's hair perfectly in place. I'll take a little bit more of my Hydro Mist. We say it's lighter than water, it's not heavy. It's also gonna coat and penetrate the hair, give the hair a nice soft sheen finish and even out the porosity. Nick, we've got a great question from Derek Mosier. Do you ever use a shorter comb for razor cuts uh, versus a longer comb or does it depend on how short their hair is? Hey Derek, nice to see you. Sorry I missed you when you popped in to see Corinne. <laughs> I, um, I always use this as my razor comb. Yeah, my scissor comb is this. So the difference is uh, about an inch. But I, the, the, they're pretty much the same depth. The razor comb's a little longer. And the difference is it has wide teeth. When I'm working with a razor, I want to get a little bit more looseness in my work. And that's why we like this razor comb. And I don't like it too thick because you've got to rotate and move it in your hand. Yeah? Fine teeth for sectioning, wide teeth for combing. Allow the hair to live a little. So I always use either of these two combs. I never change. And when you're coming back to New York, Mr. Moser. Okay, carrying on. So my sections have stayed consistent. Now it's time for me to start loosening. And I'm gonna rotate the blade. Let me get my little rotation on. And you'll see there's the guide. I'll lift it up. I have black capes in my salon because they look better than white capes. White capes are great for cutting, but a black cape just holds itself together and lasts longer because of its color. So it's a lot more forgiving. And there's nothing worse than a cape that's slightly dirty. So, uh, you know, not that they're filthy, but they do get color on. That's why it's black capes. So what, we're gonna comb this hair nice and taut. I'm gonna get the razor moving before I get into the hair and you'll see a slight difference now. You'll see a slight difference. I'm coming down the shaft and I'm putting a little softness in. So it's not so tight to the fingers. Is that easily read readable, Corinne? Nick Derek said he'll be there for Men's Fashion Week and then moving as soon as he has the time, he has his New York license. Oh, Derek, we're waiting, buddy. And uh, Rick uh, Jaramillo just asked, when are you back to Los Angeles for a happy Monday? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I can, Rick. As soon as I can. We're definitely going to be there a few more times before the end of the year. The year's really just starting. Uh, the first three months have been crazy for me. We've traveled so much. I've been to LA four times since January. Uh, but the next few trips, I go to Albuquerque this weekend. I'm teaching a class in Albuquerque. If anyone's in New Mexico, I'll be at my ambassador flagship salon, Square Root. Check us out. You can have a day's worth of education with me. Um, and then we're going to be in Philadelphia doing our expose show. So Philadelphia, $25 gets you to come and uh, hang out with us at the Fringe Arts Center. It's a great venue. We'd love to see you. Tickets are available on ArojoExpo.com. Then I go to Rich Richmond uh, to teach a class. Is that Virginia, Richmond? I think it's Virginia. So I go to Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to be doing a, a Sunday night evening class and then a Monday all day razoring class. So I've got a lot of stuff going on in April. Uh, we're going to be going back to Chicago in early May to teach a razoring class. So we're excited about that. And uh, Savannah, we're doing a big show in Savannah. So we're moving and we're shaking and I can't wait to get back to LA because we always have a great time in Los Angeles. Nick, um, Derek asked, are you now approaching it from the top instead of the horizontal when you open the blade? I am now, what's happening now, I'll show you, okay? 
what's happening now is I am going to start, I'm starting to move down the shaft. So yes, that could be from the top. So I'm starting to come, before I started across, so the blade was hitting more at a 90. Once you start to move into open razor cutting, I'm going to come down the hair. And I'm going a little bit more open every time. And the reason you know that it's going more open every time is you see more hair in the fingers. Because if I wanted to keep it one length, I could do one length, but it's going to be too heavy. I want to give her a little bit of softness and a little bit of movement. And with it being more of a lob shape, we, uh, we don't want to overly layer the hair. And we're doing no layering right now. All we're doing right now is just softening up the line. And it's getting a little A line. And these sections are starting to rotate now. So I hit that section here. I'll show you this side, Corinne. As soon as you hit the top back of the ear, this is always the touch point. So the section's going to be here. The section's going to be here. Section's going to be here. So now what happens is every section pivots from behind the back of the ear so I can cut the entire back. Nick, we have a great question from Derek Dorizo. He said, way off topic, but does the sock diffuser work on any blow dryer? Yeah, the sock, the sock diffuser works on any blow dryer. This is it. This is a small sock diffuser made by YS Park. Works on every dryer because, um, I can't believe I'm doing this on Facebook Live. It really expands. It's an expander. And then you have the elastic that stretches and fits and holds it on nice and tight like a tiger. So yes, the sock diffuser works on every dryer. And that's the titanium YS Park diffuser. And Erosio got in touch with YS Park. And because we're so brand centric, we branded the, uh, the diffusers, and we sell them on erosiopro.com. Nick, uh, Ian asked, when are you coming uh, to a game with the boys? Ah, well, don't you worry, and I'm going to come. I think probably, Ian, next season. i got to make sure that we're going to win. And, uh, you know, Manchester United have had a, an up-and-down season, but hopefully next season is when I can bring my boys, and they'll be uh, getting close to eight, and uh, they'll, be in, they'll, they'll have a lot of fun. But thanks for remembering. I've not forgot. Okay, so my sections are getting higher. Remember the section stays behind the back of the ear. Simplicity. Make it look incredibly professional. Keep it nice and clean. You don't want the hair dripping. Keep everything rotated. Nice clean sections. There'll be two more sections, one on either side after this, before I start to move into the side. When I move into the side, I'm going to over direct the hair back. So now we're getting really above and towards the crown. I can afford to open the blade a little more. And I'm elevating, a little elevation too. So I can just elevate. Notice how I get my finger can just rest to keep everything nice and steady. Now we do have a razoring class coming here in the New York Academy in Soho. It is a, uh, it's a week on Sunday. The, I believe it's the 9th and the 10th or the 8th and the 9th. It's a Sunday, Monday class. And uh, it's called Razor Fundamentals. And if you want to learn how to work with this tool, Razor Fundamentals, the class for you. And our classes are very much not sitting down, but you're up the entire time. So we're now getting really flat into the hair so that we can create a little bit more softness. Yep, it's a ninth and tenth. Ninth and tenth. And that's at a... Our Academy in Soho, 180 Barrack Street. And if you're interested, you can check it out at erosionyc.com or you can call the number 212-242-7786, extension 207. 
So like that's my uh, show voice. Two zero sir. A little bit of hydra mist throughout the process. It smells delicious. When it smells delicious, you're enhancing the experience. Yeah, it's very, very important. It's got a light linden blossom fragrance and the clients absolutely love it. So always make sure you comb with the white fine teeth of the comb and comb all the way from the section. Nice high tension cutting. And by working with an open blade, look what's in my hand now. See the difference? So when we started, it was really tight like a tiger, and now it's soft. And I'm opening the blade about, a, about an inch and a half to enable me to get a little bit more movement on the, on the outline. Nick, Colleen Kent is asking, what's Hydro Mist? Hydro Mist is the Arosho product. Hydro Mist, it's a spray conditioner. $19, it conditions the hair, softens, smooths, removes tangles, adds a little bit of light sheen, and we use this in the salon for a really nice light cutting lotion, and we sell it to our clients as a refreshing spray, and a detangler, and as a lightweight conditioner. So always come from the root all the way down. Get that razor moving. Look at how open the action is now. So the nice thing about razor cutting, you really get connected to the hair. It's soft, it's fluid. I started razor cutting in the early 90s when I left Vidal Sassoon. I wanted to start practicing with razor cutting. I worked in England for one of the big manufacturers there and um, started teaching razor in classes, very much self-taught, you know. In the 80s in the Vidal Sassoon Academy, all the teachers, the artistic directors, as long as we had a sharp tool, we could cut hair. So that was like kind of the idea that was very intriguing for me. So then when I started cutting with a razor, it's kind of evolved. And then I was lucky enough to, to get my, what was my dream job, to go and work for Bumble and Bumble here in New York. And that was when I started to raise a cut in the salon and really hone my skill. So I've been razoring now for uh, about 25 years. So again, now we're gonna start, we're gonna comb the hair all the way back over the shoulder. I'm just prepping the hair. You still breathing? So now let's take the section. Now you can afford to take a nice healthy section as we come through. All right, keep it nice and clean. Client comfort is very important. Over direct that hair back. And I'm not gonna make it too closed. I'm not gonna be as open as I was, but I'm not gonna make it too closed. I wanna keep some softness. So behind the shoulder, using, this is not the edge, this is more the flat of the blade. You pull that in, and then when you bring it forward, you can see the length that we've got. So it falls quite long, but once we kind of layer it just lightly, that is going to shorten up just a little bit more. I always work on the side closest to the parting when I'm doing this type of a cut. It's kind of like a system. When you're a behind the chair stylist, it's important to create a system that keeps you uh, knowledgeable, yeah? Our minds are moving so fast, we are not just thinking about the client, we're com communicating, we're thinking about the technique. We've always gotta stay and remain constant and know exactly where we are through our haircut. So one of the things that I did when I was a young stylist, I said, I'm always gonna start on the side closest to the parting. Number one, that's gonna be the quickest for me to show the client where I'm at. And I'll complete one side almost entirely, and if I'm working on the side that's closest to the parting, it's gonna be the quickest side. And that's very, very important for me. So there's the length on the one side, cut in. 
we drop it down and we can start to see the movement that we've got. We can start to see that length now. Collarbone's right here. We drop this down, it's a little longer. Collarbone, a little longer than even said because I've not layered it a little. Once I layer it a little, and also this hair's gonna jump because whenever the hair's dry, it shrinks. Nick, you've got some questions. Good. Katrina Butler asked, how were you chosen for what not to wear? Oh, Katrina, I was just in the right place at the right time. Somebody gave me a call, they said, do you want to try out for a show? I always say yes. I tried out for it, and somehow, within a couple of weeks, they chose me for the pilot season. And then I was like, okay, that's fun. And then after the pilot season, they came back and said to me, oh, well, we're good. we've just signed it for 50 episodes. So that was really, like, the best news. So I was just in the right place at the right time. And uh, Ian asked, Nick, why do you want to create more softness? I want to create more softness because if it's too heavy, it's going to look too, it's not going to look, and it's not going to have as much rhythm, flow, or movement if it's too heavy. I'm taking this extra section into the back because this really is a lot of hair. Remember, we're combing this over the shoulder. Open blade, not as open as I was, through the center back, because I'm gonna start to establish the length into the side. So by over-directing back, we are creating more length towards the front. If it's cut to one length, it's not gonna have that flow. Part of the magic of razor cutting is razor cutting really helps me to um, get more softness, fluidity, and movement. I'll take a section all the way through, all the way from the back. Twist, clip, don't let it hang all over the client's face. Your friend Todd Dowell just said hi. Hey, Mr. Todd Dowell. Oh, Paul's good, buddy. I thought he's your friend too. <laughs> comb it back, comb it back. So we'll comb this back over the ear. It's gonna come in, we're gonna keep it nice and long by over directing it over the back of the shoulder. And once I've cut this first piece, I'm going to come back to the center with the head up straight I'm gonna grab a piece from the same place on this side, same place on this side. I'm gonna pull down. I'm gonna see whether we're hitting the right spot. And we're hitting the right spot. Now when you're judging, one of the things that I always see a lot of the time is I see a lot of people do this. Well, you can't check the length. You have to look with your eyes. Make sure the head's balanced. Make sure the head's straight. Comb it down. Keep a parallel line between your fingers and you'll see whether you get the perfect balance. Nick, Sunny Raposa said a few of the Hot Lock Salon and Spa staff are watching. Hey! Like, give me a shout out. Shout out! How you guys doing? Hot Box? Hot Locks. Hot Locks. I like Hot I Locks and hot I know Hot Box too. too. <laughs> hey Hot Locks, how are you guys? <laughs> Checking us out every Thursday morning, 10 o'clock. <laughs> I've got a, uh, we've got a crazy one for next week. So get ready. We're building all the time. Every week, Thursday morning, it's a slice of inspiration, celebration, education. Nick, um, Rick Jaramillo said, by turning the head to the right and left, would it give you the same effect in the front? I don't like to do that, Rick. I know a lot of people like to do this. Turn, turn. In fact, I saw Corinne do it the other day in the salon. It's I not my style, Austin. it's not my technique. <laughs> I like to keep the head straight or to the side. I don't like to rotate the head. That's just my technique. But I know that some of the girls like to do that, and that's fine. You know, everyone's got their own language when it comes to hair. Yeah, the Erosio language is very consistent, but even with consistency, you will get a little bit of variety. At the end of the day, ultimately, 
It's about you developing your own style, your own sense, and your own technique. That's what it's about. But you've got to be able to explain everything. You've got to be able to explain everything, because if you can't explain it, then guess what? How can you teach it? So I like to keep, and I'm combing the hair back behind the shoulder, and that gives me a perfect drop off to the front. Just work nice and clean so that it's not all over your client's face. Okay? Again, I, I'm really into experience. And uh, I have a brand new client coming in at noon today. So I'm looking forward to giving her a great experience here in Brooklyn. Nick Brian Waldron said, I'm thinking Brooklyn Live should become part of my school's Thursday inspiration. Well, I think so, Mr. Brian Waldron. How the devil are you, buddy? <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you next time. I know that my school zones in, logs in, specifically depending on what class and what tuition level they're at. But it's a great way for a student, in my opinion, to uh, get connected to the outside world and see uh, you know, what other inspiration they can find. Uh, Karen Thompson said, I would love to see Nick do a long layer cut with face framing. Is that going to be something he will do anytime soon? I think we might have done that already, but we'll do it. We'll do it. We're going to do it. We'll just keep watching. We're going to do everything. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do everything. And, and every Facebook Live is kept um, on Facebook mm -hmm. for now until they change it because yeah. that's what they do. Yeah, if you go to videos and scroll through, you'll get to see our old live episodes. And we've been filming since about November. I think October. We took a... Yeah. No, we started at the end of... We started because October was Expo. Uh, and yeah. talking of Expo, we're going to start selling tickets for our Expo show starting, I think, next week. Oh, my goodness. So we'll have our early bird special. And I'm hopefully going to do a site check today for a venue... And we are talking to a few people about some different things because I always like to bring something new to my expo show, which is the late October. The date is in our education calendar right now. And it's a two-day uh, explosion of inspiration and education and celebration. Nick, uh, Linda Burke asks, what spray are you using to prep the hair? The spray is called Hydro Mist. It's part of the Erosio product um, hair, hair care line. Okay, Erosio has a professional hair care line. It's right here. See it right here? This is, uh, we have 45 different products. We have our American Wave. We only have six products in American Wave, just launched. And the beauty, senior beauty editor of, um, of Allure magazine was spraying in this product last night on Instagram. If you're interested in a Rojo product, we work with stylists, salons, we work with independents. The indie packages start at $550, same for American Wave, and it's completely tied to education. So if you want to get connected to a Rojo, we know how to help salons grow, we know how to help hairdressers build, and we're building a community of uh, passionate creative hairdressers and in Chicago this past week when we was in uh, the, the New York the, uh, the Chicago show what did we do we brought all of our ambassadors and they cut on stage with us so we're the inclusion brand and we create opportunities come on over mm -hmm. so more hydro mist you can't spray too much of this stuff in and now I'm gonna do a light face frame light face frame and the great thing with a light face frame with a razor is it's very fluid. So we don't want to cut the hair short because it's going to take away, but we want to kind of hit a little bit of softness and dial up the movement. So we're going to take quite a healthy section. Make sure, The nice thing about Hydro Mist, we say it's lighter than water because the spray is so light. Look how light the spray is. <laughs> Nick, Karen Thompson said most of the clients she sees you working with um, have the most manageable hair. How do you handle the clients who have the most difficult texture? Well, you should have checked out, us out on American Salon's Facebook Live last week because she had very difficult hair. Uh, no, we work on anybody's hair. Maybe it's just my technique. I can make it look like it's more manageable. 
Yeah, I mean, I have clients of every walk of life, every texture. Sometimes the hair is destroyed. Luckily, I have a Rojo product to help me. Sometimes the hair is dense, sometimes the hair is thick, sometimes the hair doesn't behave. But with good quality technique, you can make everything look and feel better. So right there, I just knocked out the corner. It's like, I call this like a little curve linear kind of texturizing. So quite thick sections, quite thick sections. I'm not going to over direct the hair too far forward. I call that like down and around, fingers behind. I'm following the guide. And now with an open blade. So the holding finger is sliding and the, uh, the blade is tapping and you can see what we're creating and the blade does tap the finger but it won't cut it because I've got the perfect pressure and when you get confident with razor cutting you'll learn the pressure now remember if you're interested this razor you can buy on arojopro.com and arojopro.com We've got a 20, we've got a 15% discount until tomorrow night. That's the 31st. And the promotion is uh, the password or the code is March Madness. Because we're coming back to the end of March Madness. A, a few things, that, something different, a little tipping. This is using the tip of the blade. You learn how to get feel into your work when you raise a cup. So it's kind of like I'm feeling the thickness and the density and this is just a rotation of the edge of the blade, the very tip, just softly lightening the load. We want the hair to still have weight, but we don't want it to be too heavy. Nick, Derek Dorizo asked, if you were cutting this with shears, would you approach it in the same way? I would probably approach it in a very similar way, uh, for sure. It's a very similar way, but you know, I couldn't do cut like this with a scissor. Yeah, so I'd probably have to elevate, rotate, and point cut like this. So point cut in. You know, that's why I think it's good to be really great with scissors first and then be excellent with a razor second. Learn razor cutting after you've learned scissor cutting. Scissor cutting is the gateway to becoming a great stylist, becoming a hairdresser that understands craftsmanship. Yeah? And then razor cutting is like your fluidity, it's your movement your softness and it engages a different part of the brain. So we've got one side, now we'll come to the opposite side. I don't want to, I don't want to overly wet the hair down. I'm probably going to go through with a little scissor towards the end too. I like to do a lot of combination cutting. In fact, we do have a great class called Scissor Then Razor. So that's one of our great classes that we've created. I'm going to pinch that hair over. You can see this is from the opposite side. So there's the guide and I'm going to scoop it around. Fine teeth of the comb. Don't raise the hair dry. Yeah? Don't cut corners, cut hair. Nikki and us, with tipping through the sides of the hair um, and the hair being half the thickness, what do's and don'ts? Well, the hair's not half the thickness when, you, when, you, when I've cut. So basically, the do's are, and I, it's a great, here's a great do and a great don't. Keep it within the final inch of the ends of the hair. So in other words, if this is the length, you can tip here. Don't be tipping up here. That's going to destroy. So really, you're working on the final inch and a half, final inch. And as you get stronger with your razor cutting, you can push that tipping a little deeper once you know what you're doing. But if you push it too deep to begin with, you'll just destroy the hair. And if, if I destroy your hair, she says she's going to beat me. <laughs> I don't want to get beaten today. A little tipping right here. You might be able to see that. So very light. It's just the tip edge of the blade. It's just softening out. Look what it's taken out, just a very light softness. Section two. Nice healthy sections. 
You don't want to take fine section. If the section's too fine, when you put the blade into the hair, what happens is, is the blade goes straight through it. I like to call the, I, when, when the blade hits the hair, I call it the bite. The blade is biting the cuticle and creating softness as I taper the ends of the hair. So if the section's too fine, you're never gonna feel that bite. And I like to feel a bite. What about you, Corinne? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, by the way, Todd asked if you're bringing me. Where to? To, uh, to Toronto? Yes. Toronto. I don't know, Todd, what do you think? <laughs> we'll have to see whether she behaves. She's been traveling a lot. She's gonna be teaching. We have an ambassador summit this weekend. Our ambassador summits are where we, an ambassador is somebody that carries a Rojo product. And twice a year we have a thing called the ambassador summit. And that's where we do special programs for ambassadors only. Corinne, Blaine and Alex are gonna be teaching Sunday. We're gonna be teaching cutting and we're gonna be teaching some new American wave trend, trend technique. And then on Monday, the ambassador's are gonna be working with Paul Merritt, who's our in-house fashion stylist. So he's working in editorial, and he's gonna be teaching uh, how to conceptualize, how to create texture, and how to work with products. So there's still room for any ambassador out there who feels the inspiration and wants to come and experience a little Erosio magic. Uh, you just dial in and talk to us. Nick, oh. we've uh, got some great questions. Great. Tammy Valmas is asking, I have a couple of new clients that say not to use a razor on their hair. Great. How do you handle that? Don't use a razor. Yeah, if they don't want the razor, don't pretend that you're gonna like, you know, change their minds. The last thing you can do is use a razor and then they still say, I hate it. Yeah, you're gonna lose your client. So when the client says, don't use a razor, I just put my razor down, I've got a scissor. Number two, when you're doing the client hair, when you're doing the cut, what you can do is you can just discuss with the client, hey, why don't you like the razor? It's usually because they had a really bad experience the last time when they had a razor cut, so they think it was the razor that did the damage. It's not the razor that does the damage, it's the person that's behind the razor. So you explain that to them, as soon as they will think about that, They'll say, well, what do you think then? They'll say, well, maybe next time we'll use a razor. It's a great way to bring a client back. Quick little check-in, Corinne. Now I've sectioned the hair ear to ear. We're in the final furlong. Final bit of razoring and then just a little scissor work and then it's style time. I'm just going to comb this hair all the way back and out. And I'm just going to knock off the corner with an open blade technique. And I might even just uh, tip in just a little. So when it comes to here, nice, this is a central section. Just combing it through. And I'm just going to tip, a little tip. That's just going to put a little bit more action into the hair. Nick, Rick Jaramillo is asking, what's your input on dry razor cutting? Because people have mentioned that if you prep the hair with the right product, it won't damage the hair. Uh, I don't think so. If you use shine spray, like if I'm doing a show and I've got five minutes to show my skill, then I'll do it with some shine spray because it's got a lot of slip in the hair. But when you're razoring dry hair, the cuticle's closed, so you really shatter it. When you're razoring damp hair, the cuticle's open and it slides and glides right through. Whenever you burn hair, Rick, you see the, the cuticles frazzle and shrink up. That's what happens when you raise a dry hair. Try it, you'll see. So I say it's a no-no. But remember, if it's still 5% wet, it's still wet. So you can take it all the way to the edge. I like going all the way to the edge. Nick Todd asks, um, when cutting, are you going to the first knuckle only and then picking up more hair to finish the subsection? Yeah, kind of, yeah, because it's really hard to get tension here. 
But what I do do is I get tension top to bottom, so my fingers are top to bottom. My fingers are not side to side. My fingers are top to bottom. So you see, top to bottom, and so I can get it tight here too. But that's a good, uh, it's a good thing to, to, but it's definitely tighter right here. From the second knuckle, from the first knuckle to the second knuckle. Nick Moritz is asking, if someone has very thin, lifeless hair, would you razor almost dry for volume? Never razor dry. If I razor dry on fine hair, A, there's a chance it's gonna hurt. B, there's a chance it's gonna split the cuticle too heavily. So I would razor it, but I would razor it damp. That's why Hydro Mist is a great product. Look the hair. You see the hair here? The hair is still damp, but it's not it's not sopping wet. It's not, it, it, you can kind of see it's talking to you. You can see what's happening because I've been using this magic Hydro Mist. $19, yeah? It's a great product for $19. And it's an easy sell to a client as a refreshing spray. And if you've never sprayed it, then check it out because it smells of linden blossom. And if you've never smelled my hair products, I can tell you that they're some of the finest smelling hair products in the market. And that is because we work. We're one of the best perfumers in hair care. In fact, the perfumer is so seasoned and experienced. He's not just done my product, he's done lots of products. He's one of the best. He's got an amazing team. And I'm a firm believer that fragrance will help you sell your product. I know the Glint, our new product from American Wave, uh, the fragrance is so special that as soon as the client sprays it, she says, I'm buying it. So this is the flat of the blade, open razor cutting, down the shaft, scoop this hair up, everything's being combed in, so from the center back in this way, in this way, so your body position changes. Hoop, here it is. Hoop, here <laughs> it is. See me on the dance floor. A little tipping. You know, you kind of get into the feel. One of the things that the razor really helps you with is it helps you to get connected to feel. Yeah, scissor cutting is kind of, I know that the, the, the French technique has a lot of feel base uh, technique to it, but because I'm a precision based scissor cutter, it was very hard for me to get that softness, that feel, that flow. So then by taking the razor and using it in a very precise way, I'm getting a little bit more of a feel in my work, which is what I like. So I always like a feel. So you can see as I look through the hair here, it's a little finer here, a little thicker here. Can you see that, Corinne? So this is where tipping comes in. It's more transparent there and less transparent here. So I'm going to put some transparency in. And try and marry the density. Now it's looking much better. Try and marry the density and the taper off the ends of the hair. Nick, Ian's asking, do you do any tipping closer to the root? I, I do, yeah, but not today, and I'll tell you why, because uh, she doesn't need it, and it's great to do, and I can be very aggressive, and, and honestly, Ian, the reality is, is first you have to understand the rules, and then you slowly start to break the rules, but if I were in here right now, it would be a mess, so I'm going to stay right at the ends, um, but I have tips super short on super long hair, but it's got to have layers. It's got to have some kind of connectivity. The razor is a very fluid tool. It's fluid in the sense I can cut this way and I can cut this way. So I can cut from the front, to, from the back to the front on one side, from the back to the front on the other side. It's fluid in the way that I can cut down one side from the top to the bottom and down the other side from the top to the bottom. So really, because I can use both sides of the blade, the heel or the tip, it gives me flexible options. And I love that. All right, now it's time for a little bit of uh, scissor work. 
If you're in the market for scissors, we have this amazing 5.0 BMAX shear. I can't talk strongly enough about this, 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 this scissor. 335, price-wise, it's a steel, and it's Japanese steel, yeah? So it's a Japanese steel. Well done. <laughs> That's well done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna spray the hair down anymore. I'm gonna lift and I'm gonna do a thing which I've been doing a lot, which is called just sealing the cuticle. And she's got this nice, beautiful wave in her hair, which we love. Because we're into wave, we're into softness, we're into looseness, we're into texture. So I'm just using the points of the B mac Arojo B mac yeah, so they're, they're specially made for us. They got my name right there. And um, the nice thing I like about them, see how blunt the tips are? They have like a nice blunted tip. So for point cutting, they're beautiful. With them being an offset handle, you get really good balance. Notice my thumb does not go in. So these are the things that you'll learn as a stylist, not to gouge your thumb all the way down into the hair. Right, sorry, gouge your thumb all the way down into the thumb hole. So don't forget, I'll be going to Albuquerque this weekend. Come by and see me at Square Root Salon. If you're in New Mexico, we'd love to see you. Then uh, next weekend, Definitely, definitely check us out. Our Erosio Expose is uh, going to Philadelphia. It's going to be at the Fringe Arts Center. Tickets are available on erosioexpo.com. Come and hang out with us. Bring your friends. Come and hang out. We'll bring in professional models, great videos. Share our inspiration. We'll have some of the creative team with us. And, uh, you know, it's a great facility, amazing venue, and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll join us. We're powered by Goldwell. Tickets are available. Tickets are available at erosioexpo.com. Now, when I say we're powered by Goldwell, I just did something really cool. For any salon that carries Goldwell hair color, and they're really into their uh, Star Alliance points, well, now, if you bring in a Rojo product, you actually can double dip. What that means is you will be rewarded Star Alliance points with Goldwell on your Rojo purchases, and you'll also receive what we call a Rojo Ambassador Reward Dollars. So you'll double dip. You'll get the best of both worlds. And you can use your star alliance points for a rojo classes so if you like what we have to offer you know it's a great opportunity for you to get more connected to uh, to get connected to a rojo but definitely come to uh, the fringe arts in philadelphia next sunday night tickets available at rojo nyc and also if you want to learn razor cutting next sunday monday we have a two-day razor fundamentals class. It's one of our most popular classes, and uh, we'd love to see you. Again, contact Loretta at Arojo NYC for information. A little bit of point cutting. Notice how I don't really want to damp the hair down now anymore. I'm going to kind of work with her natural texture. We're getting close to the end. It's soon gonna be time to put some product in. I prepped the hair so it's already got a lot of sheen into the hair. You can see the softness, the movement that she has. The nice thing is she's still got the option for combing this, pulling this hair all the way back. So she's got plenty of length. A little shorter through the back, longer through the front. And now it's time for me to think about what I'm gonna use. And what I am going to use, I'm going to use some of my new American Wave product. Why? Because I can, because I love it. <laughs> and, um, you know, again, this is our second product line. So we have a product line called a Rojo product. 
I've been using Hydro Mist throughout the hair. And our second product line is called American Wave. And the nice thing is American Wave is all focused on curl, wave, and texture. So it's a product line specifically for texture. Nick, Stephen Marinero says the salon guy says hi. Hey, <laughs> hello the salon guy. He's a good guy. Finishing up. Well, let's just point in a little more. And I think what we'll do is we're going to go with our curl, uh, with our cream, our calming cream, which is called Hypnotic. And we're going to put a little bit of that into the hair. And then what we're going to do is we're going to diffuse it lightly and finish with a little bit of American Wave Spray. So we've got about another 10 minutes, if that, before we wrap. Let me introduce you to Hypnotic. This is the product, Hypnotic American Wave. This retails for $30. Shea butter, leaf juice, provides moisture, macadamia, and babasu oils, nourish. So moisturizing and nourishing. We're going to get that product into my hand. It's a nice, lightweight, non-heavy cream. So you see we've got a nice amount. When I'm doing products, I always hand the product to the client so she can check it out too. Take that in and do the, do the kind of emulsification right here so she can experience the fragrance. And then what we do once we've got it in the hand, in the palms of the hands. Now this product that we designed is clean and green. So it is a sulfate free, paraben free, a lot of natural extracts in the product. It's vegan, so it's a really healthy, and uh, you know, I think a lot of consumers now and hairdressers through marketing, we're really getting aware of what is perceived as, as uh, uh, maybe some of the ingredients that people don't like. I'll be honest with you, uh, I think a lot of it is, uh, is marketing. Yeah, certainly everything that Erosio makes is made in America to the best of the specification. My Erosio product line was not developed to be clean and green, it was developed for performance. Of course, we use the finest ingredients, but with the natural uh, wave and curl line, American Wave, we wanted to dial up the ingredient listings. So the difference in the two products, they're both amazing. Uh, Erosio product is based on performance on, for every texture, and American Wave is still based on performance, but with a cleaner and greener kind of ingredient listing, it's very ingredient based, and uh, it's a slightly higher price point. Erosio product is 18 to 26, American Wave is 26 to, uh, 26 to 30. So we just worked our calming cream in. Now what we'll do, which is what we like to do a lot, we do a little twist, mm -hmm. and then we'll just diffuse, and then we'll spray. So we twist that in. This just helps to lock in a little bit more curl. Something that we're doing a lot in the salon. We've been doing this in the salon for years. So we like to call this our little twist blowout. Again, we have waving tools, we have wands, flat irons. We have so many different tools. As a brand owner, I've really focused on creating my, my product brand. And my product brand is not just hair products, it's hair tools as well. We have an extensive collection of amazing brushes that we sell, hair dryers, curling wands, smoothing irons, sexy lingerie, no I'm only kidding. <laughs> Nick, Stephen Martin asked, I'm noticing a different look in the new products. Are you rebranding or repackaging the line? No, with the Rojo product, we're not rebranding or repackaging, we're just evolving. Yeah, with the Rojo product, we always have a square and uh, we're changing colors and we're changing things up. We're always trying to, you know, uh, create newness in our products packaging, but we're not rebranding. American Wave, if, you, if you're referring to American Wave, that's American Wave over there. I don't know if you can see that, Corinne. 
you can see American Wave right here. Completely different style, completely different package, but look, it's still part of the Erosio family. But we dial down the Erosio. But really, you can carry both of these lines in your salon, and they won't compete with each other. So now it's time for me to get my uh, sock. Get your sock on. Get your sock on. Okay. <laughs> and we'll do a light diffuse. See, it fits on every dryer. Nick, Derek Mosher asks, is American Wave based around curling hair more so than the original line? American Wave is really for curl, wave, and texture. You won't find any smoothing products in American Wave. You will only find products that are designed for texture. At present, we have a shampoo or conditioner. Shampoo's called Rehab. The conditioner's called Submerge for curly hair. Amazing, amazing shampoo and conditioner. We have Rogue, which is our co-cleanser. So that is a non-foaming cleanser. Go rogue and stop using suds. And then we have Hypnotic, which is what I used here, which is a lightweight curl calming cream. We have Elixir, which is our defrizzing gel. And we have Glint, which is our texture and shine spray, which I'll be putting in Anessa's hair right at the end. Nick, Angel Ball asks, does this stop keep the frizz low? Oh yeah, well, it doesn't blow the hair. A very light blow that doesn't disturb the hair it's not blowing the hair everywhere always keep your hand in front of it the reason why you keep your hand in front is to make sure that you uh, can feel the heat this is the Erosio twin turbo super powerful motor small petite and uh, has all the bells and the whistles of any professional dryer uh, made by twin turbo branded Erosio It's super hot and it's super powerful. I know Dyson's getting a lot of play and they're really pushing into our market. But I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the Dyson. You know? I mean, I was hoping I would be, but I'm just not. I don't like the buttons on the back. I like the buttons on the front. Nick Derek Mosher asks, is the dryer ionic? It is ionic, yep. It has everything. Angel Ball said the dryer looks very light. Well, you know what? It's it's a it's a it's a it's a um it's got a proper motor in it, so it's not super light. But it's not super heavy. Yeah, if you have the light motor, then you don't get the power. And I'm like Austin, I like power, Austin power. So it's a small dryer. Everybody in our salon uses them. I got 70 hairdressers. I had another dryer that had an AC motor. And um, that was very light, but not power. Nobody wanted to use it. Whereas if you look around the salon, everyone's using this dryer. Don't forget, we have a special code, March Madness. 15% off. So if you want to get a dryer and you're not going to any trade show anytime soon, this is a great dryer to try. So twisting these in, keep twisting them in. She doesn't have a lot of curl in her hair. You can blow dry this straight. But what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to dial up some a little bit of natural beachy soft texture. Hair painted using Goldwell hair color. That's our color company of choice. And we'll work with the hair until it's uh, almost dry. Feels hot? <laughs> no, you know, when you're wearing a bikini at work, for them. <laughs> no, no, no. Angel Ball said, I really like how the rest of the hair isn't disturbed with the sock. Oh, the sock's amazing. Honestly, 
And I can't tell you how many socks I've sold to clients. Clients absolutely love it. Again, if you're interested, check out a show, contact us, connect us, we sell them. We sell them wholesale. Amazing, uh, amazing tools. Head forward a little bit. Little squeeze, squeeze as you please. And now let's loosen that hair up a little. I'll turn the hair right down just a little. Okay, head all the way back. Shake it out. Shake it, baby. Oh, shake it. Now there's other products that I could have used too. We've got loads of great products. I could use the Wave Mist, the Cream Whipping Arojo product. But you know, I'm getting to test drive my new American Wave product. And the way I say test drive it, what I mean by that is, literally, it takes six months. Yeah? To develop American Wave, it took a year and a half. Now we've got the product in stock, and we're actually working with it on... We're, now we give it real heavy testing. Of course, we test it to approve it, because we tweak we, tweak, we Put my teeth in. We tweak it and we modify it. But then when it comes to getting it in, that's when we really start to, to test it. And all of our clients start to test it too. And we get to feel, you get a feel for it. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. And the color was colored by... Uh, Lauren. Lauren. She's in uh, Soho today, Lauren. I know, I met her goes to morning. She goes to Soho on, on Thursdays, along with Zach. Who is in, uh, what, hairstylist? Did you think it's hairstylist? Oh, he's so sophisticated, oh. that Zachary. Yeah, he got mentioned in it, I yeah? He's getting famous as our Zach. bit of wave and shine spray and the nice thing about this is it's a texture and shine it's not a high shine it's a little bit more texture so this just gives the hair any final questions we just want a good look at that can <laughs> oh yeah this product retails for 28 my ambassadors and my American Wave fans that have been into the product, they've been loving this. Just out of the texture. So there she is. And this I wanted a, like a razor lob, soft, beachy texture. And, uh, you know, she has nice, great hair. This could be blow dried straight, it could be twist blown out, it could be dialed up with texture with a wand. I'm going to take a picture in a few minutes. We'll put it on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and uh, stay connected to us. Remember, we have coming up, I'll be in Albuquerque this weekend. We have a class next weekend. Our razoring class is next weekend. So if you want to come to learn razor cutting, come and see us here in New York. And also, please remember, we will be in Philadelphia next Sunday night at the Fringe Arts. And it's gonna be an amazing event. Come and say hello, come and hang out. There's a great bar restaurant there at the end. So it's a nice evening. Tickets are only $25. Yeah, so if you get, if the weather's getting nicer, springtime, come out, hang out with us, $25. You can get more engrossed into our culture. And, um, and hopefully we'll see you soon. If, if not, arojosocial.com. Check us out on arojosocial.com. Do you have a question? Yeah, can you tell us about boot camp? Boot camp, well, boot camp starts at the end of April. It's a four week intensive program. And you can actually do bite sized boot camp too. So it's four weeks. Week one, scissor cutting. All scissor cutting, all the classics. Week two, all color. From color theory right the way through to color correction and get certified in American Wave in week two. Week three, three days of men's barbering 
and two days of fashion styling. And then week four, all razor cutting. The total cost of the class for a one month uh, is Sunday through Thursday. Each class is from nine until five, longer than our regular classes. Uh, it's $4,400, 4400 If you want to take a bite-sized boot camp, it's $1,100 a week. So you can check it out on erosionyc.com. Bite-sized boot camp or the full boot camp. It's an exciting program and you really get to be part of our culture as you get indoctrinated. I think boot camp's a great class for a hairdresser that wants to improve their skill period, a hairdresser that's finishing school or wants a finishing program, a hairdresser that maybe needs to bolster their confidence, they've been out of it, maybe they had a child, they want to get back into the groove, um, or someone that just wants to spend a, a month in New York and have a purpose. So I think it's a great program. Uh, one last question, uh, Nelly Kovalev asked, what hair dryer diffuser was that? The diffuser was this, the hair dryer is a twin turbo, turbo power, Erosio branded, twin turbo dryer, and then the diffuser is a YS Park diffuser, what we have these Erosio branded, this is an original YS Park diffuser, what we have the Erosio diffusers, exactly the same, made by the same company, but they have the red Erosio tag on. That's what we sell. And everything's available on erosiopro.com and you have a 15% discount when you tap in the code at the end of buying, when, you, when you're ready to check out, put the code in. The code is March Madness. Uh, one last question too. Maritza Hernandez asked, is there financing available for boot camp? Uh, you know, call Loretta, 207 and have a discussion with Loretta and she'll be able to talk you through all the options, okay? Great. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks to Corinne. Thanks to Anissa for letting us, oh look, it's getting better. Getting better, perfect. A nice razor lob. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you next time. Next week, we've got something different for you. Uh, we're gonna go a little edgier, okay? So we'll see you next Thursday, if not sooner. Have a great day and have a happy weekend. Thank you. <laughs>